Good morning, everybody. How you doing today? My name's Andrew. I'm Daniel. I'm Grandpa. I'm Matt. I'm Kelly. And we're some of the Veggie Boys. Very good. And we'd like to thank you for stopping by. If you're new here, please consider subscribing because we can grow a lot of stuff on the farm, but one thing we can't grow is this channel without your help. Welcome back everyone. It's so nice to see you. Currently we're sitting just under 100 degrees in the greenhouse, which is a little too hot. So we've been working on opening it up this morning. You saw the front door was open. I'm gonna open up this back door, let some air flow through here. It is a beautiful, warm, sunny day. And on beautiful, warm, sunny days, these greenhouses, they can get pretty hot. Another thing we got done this morning, we gave our onions and leeks a haircut, or that be called an onion cut. I don't know, it doesn't matter. It's uh, it's done and they look great. By trimming the onions, it encourages them to grow a little bit more and it also makes them look nice and that makes them easier to sell. But at this point in the year, we're just trying to get the onions a little bit larger. So by trimming them, that helps out a lot. It makes them a lot e easier to manage in the greenhouse. a 10 by 20 pen and I'm going to feed on this end. Okay. So I'm not going to feed on the outside end. Why don't we just make the pens as wide as the bucket of the skid steer loader? Well, this is uh, for the caps that are off of milk. Yeah, I know, but when we clean the pens, don't you think that'd be a good idea? Small pens, yeah. For the small ones? Yeah. Yeah. Well, for the big ones, how about we do two bucket fulls then? Yeah. Well, All right. my gates are 10 foot. Oh my goodness. This is stressing me out. Put these two up first. Yeah. We're doing a little brainstorming about our wall. As you can see, we got two new blocks to put into place. We've extended the wall a little bit further than what we've had. And now we're gonna be putting these blocks up top so as to get started on making pens for our calves. It's really nice having them in greenhouse number five. Don't let us lie to you. We love having them in the greenhouse, but that greenhouse is worth more to us for storing plants than it is for storing calves. And since it's summertime, they can get out of there. So we want our blocks to sit about as even as they can. So what we have to do is chip off some of the ends of concrete because they're not always perfectly flat. So if it's sticking up even that much, we don't want that. Okay. Does that need to come back toward me, us, or is it? No, it looks pretty good here. All right, we're level. I have to clean that edge off up there. Yep, I'll get it. Why does it work better if it comes free? As we're taking our wall down through here, we're trying to keep everything as level and straight as possible. Uh, it's sometimes not too easy when you're working with these large blocks. They're not perfect, but we're doing our best. Right. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Yeah, okay. Daniel's pretty impressive with that tractor. He almost got that chain hooked on all by himself. He just needed a little assist, but it was pretty close. I need the bar to chip the edges. Got to come up, so we use another. 
there's a few things we have to keep in mind while we're working with these large blocks. Uh, number one thing is that these are big and heavy and it'd be easy to hurt yourself. So we're doing our best to be careful. We've put quite a few of these blocks into place in our lifetime. So, and we're getting pretty good at it. Not professionals, we're just starting to get pretty good at it. The only thing I will say is these blocks, it would be really nice if they were all the same shape, same size, but they're not. So when you're trying to keep everything even, you got to keep that in mind. It can be annoying and frustrating, but it's going to be a barn or we're going to have animals here. And that's what you got to remember when you're working with this stuff. It doesn't have to be perfect. Looks pretty good there. Compared to what it looked like about a month ago down here, this is looking pretty snazzy. We're gonna be able to use all this space here for many different things, and eventually we will continue the wall the whole way down. But for now, I think we've gotten to a good space um, that we're gonna need. So this is gonna work out great for us. Come here. What are you doing out? <clears throat> Give me them legs. Come on. Yeah, we're still catching chickens. No. I don't want to talk about it. It's about 60 degrees here on the farm today. It's nice and warm. The sun is shining. The cattle are taking advantage of this. They are out to pasture. I see all the horses over here. They are out to pasture and the donkeys. Well, I don't, I never know what the donkeys are doing. Yeah, anyway, the donkeys are, uh, who knows. Um, but yeah, it's nice to see. This is like free fuel for the cattle, you know? This is just free food. They're enjoying it. As long as they're out there eating grass, I'm happy. Whoa. See, this is what I really enjoy taking the opportunity to look at our coal crops that we're going to be planting out into the fields relatively soon. They have been growing so fast. Just look at some of the development on these plants. There's going to be a lot of kale, kohlrabi, cabbage, and broccoli going into the soil relatively soon. The growth that we're seeing is just unbelievable. I think it's going to be a good spring. I'm kind of going just from greenhouse to greenhouse, just getting a look at everything. Here we have greenhouse number five and looks pretty rough right now. But in no time, this is going to be all transformed and full of plants. This greenhouse serves us well every single year throughout winter. It's done loads of benefits for the calves. But like I mentioned before, it's time to get out of here. It's not every day you got to kick your babies out, but guess what? We got to kick our babies out. We're getting ready to spread fertilizer on our wheat. So dad is working on cleaning up any holes that we have on our truck so we don't lose fertilizer on the way home. How's it going in there, boss? Okay. Okay, good. Follow that cabin for Yeah. to get the wheat done tonight and the day tomorrow.
with weather like this, I'm ready to go pick tomatoes. You guys can probably imagine what this means now that we've moved some plants up here in front of the farm market. Uh, yeah, it's time to start selling them. We've got all different types of stuff that can kind of handle cooler weather. So we have coal crops, we have broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower. We have some lettuces, kale. And then as we move down a little bit further, we have parsley and leeks. Now, because we move these plants up here, does that mean we're ready to get started planting? Well, not necessarily. You saw how large our first planting of coal crops uh, are so once they are to the size that we need to plant then we'll be ready so at the time of recording that it's probably a few weeks out but i mean it's coming fast we have just been informed that it is now lunchtime so we're gonna head inside and get something to eat all righty let's see let's see what are we having Ooh, hot dogs for lunch let's go i think that's chicken concentrate chicken feed. chicken feed yeah we got chicken feed delivered today oh we're really getting for it now oh it's time tyler tyler wants to plant potatoes so bad yeah, that's uh, what I want to do. He wants to plant potatoes. Nope. He also, he's ready for the eclipse today. He's not going to look directly into the sun. Yes, I am. No. Yes. Don't do that. You put your wildest helmet on well, and enjoy well, the eclipse. I'm going to get my clear safety glasses and I'm going to look. Whoa, okay. Tyler's not going to do that. He's not, he's not that brave. Whoa, way to go there, genius. Who dropped this? You hear how smart Aunt Rhonda thinks I am? She called me a genius. Yeah, that's pretty cool. We were talking about that at lunch today, the eclipse. I don't know how well we're going to be able to see it with how cloudy it is, but from what I understand, it's going to look pretty cool. I don't know. We got plenty of places to look at to see it. I mean, look at all that real estate. I don't know. Where's the sun? There, it's all the way up there. Woo! We'll have a good day. How do you feel about the eclipse, Dad? It is what it is. He's, it's really messing up his day. He's got so much to think about. Now with the eclipse, he's just, he's just over the edge. So for the afternoon, what do we have going on? Well, there's a bunch of stuff. Daniel is on his way to pick up the fertilizer. He's got quite the drive ahead of him, so he won't be back for a while. He's picking up quite a bit, and Matthew is grabbing the truck. He is running to grab the spreader. So we're hoping that we might be able to get started this afternoon on spreading fertilizer for the wheat ground. And after Matt gets back from grabbing the spreader, he's also got to run and grab a calf because one of the local dairies called said they have a calf available for us. So we want to go get that right away. Where are you going to work at? Dad is running the wagon down around back. We're probably gonna end up moving a few more plants, not 100% sure. I haven't had the opportunity to walk into the large greenhouse yet today. And I just wanted to see how everything's been growing and whew, it's been growing. the truck to go get a fertilizer spreader that we're borrowing so that we can spread our nitrogen onto our wheat. Hey Matt, you know they make motorized jacks, right? What about tents? <laughs> what? <Some> motorized jacks. <laughs> oh, ha! Ah. Whoa, what do you have there? We have lettuce bowls. You know what that is? No, what's a lettuce bowl? Tell me. It's a bowl of lettuce. Oh, wow. No, it's a variety of leaf lettuce you put in here. People put them on their porches this time of the year when it's too cold to plant them outside yet. And they start picking the leaves off. They can eat lettuce for a while. Yeah, we sell that. That's pretty cool, isn't it? I wanted to show you something I'm bringing home for Callie as a little present. I think they're ceramic pots. I don't know necessarily what they are, but Callie's gonna love it with the little kitty cat. Then I got a bunny rabbit. That's awesome. You want your shoes on? Okay. Which shoes do you want? That one. These ones, or do you want the light up ones? These ones. Like oh, you want these ones? Okay. So I ended up just working on that stuff I had mentioned earlier. Uh, we were pretty excited about the eclipse. It was so cloudy though, that we could not see a single thing. It was pretty sad. I was super excited about it. I was excited to show Callie it, but well, guess what? It didn't work out, did it? Yeah. Say nope, didn't work out. Okay. Didn't work out, but we're excited because for dinner tonight, we are going over to Mimi and Pop Pops. Yeah, we're going to the farm. Can I get a woohoo? Woo oh, yeah. My shoes. Yeah, they look nice. And if anybody was curious, I am getting a little better at getting all three kids in the car. 
Oh, that's a little spit up. Nice. Well, if it is not obvious, we are not going to be eating at home for dinner tonight. We're heading over to the farm. Oh, yeah, eating in the farmhouse. Come on, kiddos, let's go get some dinner. You're looking good over there, hon. Looking good. Oh, it looks like Aunt Tracy just brought dinner over. What are we having tonight, Aunt Tracy? Shredded chicken tacos. Oh, we got everybody out here. Shredded chicken tacos. It's going to be a good time. Aunt Sadie's over here holding Lily. Oh my goodness. So cute. And then we have Callie who's patiently waiting. Are you ready to eat? Yeah. Yeah, she's really hungry. So look, we got Aunt Sadie holding Lily. We got my mom holding Ronnie. And we got Callie here. Oh, my three babies. They're all growing so fast. Come on, let's go. Time to eat. We ain't got all night. Tracy's mad. She's waiting for everybody to get out here. Oh. Do you think that we need like little spoons for everything or what do you guys like? Yeah, they'll be eating. What do you got sports? Is anyone sick right now? I'm sick. You? Oh. I hope not. Yeah. I'm trying to eat. We're ready. <laughs> Callie's like, I'm trying to eat. All right, everybody, we are getting ready to sit down and eat, getting a full table here. Since we're getting to the end of the video, I do want to mention, if you have not already, do not forget to subscribe and like the video. It helps us out a ton. So at this time, we're going to sit down and eat, and that means this is where we're going to end the video, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye bye Bye-bye.